Rainer Brudeler is back on the campaign trail. And he has some catching up to do after breaking a leg in a fall two months ago. One of his first appearances was an event in the city of Heilbronn. There, he told voters that the Free Democrats are the only party that won't raise taxes. It's wrong. When we're taking in 700 billion euros in taxes more than ever before, to add even more taxes. That's something everyone should know before this election. And there's only one constellation that will prevent that, the CDU with the FDP, which says no to tax increases. Despite his best efforts, Brudeler is struggling to connect with voters. Somehow he seemed a little tired. He wasn't in top form like he usually is, but he wasn't bad. Brudeler is a great campaigner. He's very knowledgeable. But when he was actually in a position to do something, he wasn't that great. Brudeler served as economics minister for two years in Angela Merkel's cabinet. Now he's trying to save the FDP from sliding into obscurity. After winning almost 15% in 2009, the FDP's best result ever, its popularity has plummeted. Today's surveys put the party dangerously close to the 5% threshold needed to enter parliament. Can Rainer Brudeler turn the FDP around? The last few months haven't been encouraging, and not just because of his accident. The campaign got off to a rocky start. Brudeler repeatedly challenged party leader Philipp Rösler and questioned whether he was up to the job. But when Rösler offered him the leadership, Brudeler flinched. The two men's relationship is regarded as strained. Then a reporter wrote a story alleging that Brudeler made inappropriate remarks to her at a bar. The story triggered a fierce debate about sexism in Germany. The scandal is still a political liability for Brudeler. The FDP hopes campaign events like this one in Heilbronn will help lift the party's popularity. Plans by opposition parties to raise taxes could help, but the FDP still needs to drive home its message. We'll fight until the last day. As a rule, the FDP does better than opinion polls predict, while the Greens do less well than the polls say. But with only four weeks until election day, there's very little time for Rainer Brudeler to pull the FDP out of its slump.